So those are the spiritual operations that ascends beyond the normal soul of a man. One day, as I was journeying in the spirit, I now found physics there. I was shocked. That physics. I said, how is God speaking to me this way? Said, Have you read Newton's law of motion? Is it Albert Einstein that is speaking to me? <laughs> that, that law that says an object, an object will remain, what? What law so is that one? Newton's third law of motion. Yes. So one day, the law came to me and was speaking to me using Newton's third law of motion. Can we delve into that a little? I want to give you a secret. It's a gift because you came here today and because you are watching. Someone hold the mic, someone that knows that law. Let me... I discovered that if you have the Holy Ghost, you should be 10 times better. You see, these laws, are not, they are not read. They are understood. So what does Newton third law of motion states? It states that a body will continue in a state of equilibrium or uniform motion until it is acted on by an, an external, external foreign force. Mark that word, an external force. It has to exist beyond that controlled environment. If God begins to speak to you, he speaks understanding. He speaks energy. He doesn't speak language. If he utters his word, you will come into the understanding of what he's saying. All this object, they are within a localized environment together. Even though their shapes are different, they are all earthlings. And because of that, they cannot alter the conditions that all of them are experiencing. They, if the man like let him be huge short but they are all within you see when they talk about perpetual state of rest it's not just talking about a state it's also talking about an operation that is common among something of the same type of matter now i don't know how to explain but i will try my best the law now says until an external for something that is totally alien to that operation that is separated and not influenced by that operation. It has to have a distinct difference in maybe form, shape, or what it carries. If there is a car now, what would be an external force to a car? Is it a bigger car? Is it a truck? No, it has to be a human being, something that is of a different make of the car. So when I enter a car, I become an external force that can give this car another level of operation. Because even though I'm in the car, I'm not of the car. Now, someone is, they put two cars and say, let's make these cars move. Someone comes with his own form of energy by pushing the car. I'm showing you something. The car would move. He's acting on the car by his own energy. This man is very muscular. Another man that is very slim comes with another form of energy that is external to what this one has. This one has muscular energy. This one has energy as knowledge. The more distinct a force is from an object, the more power that force wields over that object. So one comes with power. Another one comes with knowledge. Knowledge is stronger than power. The one with knowledge, even though he's slim, he enters the car and they say, let them travel today to Otupo. The one with knowledge will get there first. Because his own power is external in comparison to what this one is carrying as they're acting on the car. So he now asks me something. He said, who do you fear? Is it the man who has the bomb or the man who knows how to make the bomb? Two of them have two types of power. One, if you disarm his bomb, you've disarmed him. The other one, if you send him to Sambisa, because he has the knowledge, that's faith. Faith is substance. You have something that anywhere you can make what you want. So what do you do? You exchange your physical strength for something else. That's how, that's how we act in power. Power, to walk in power, you need to lay down something else that everyone in that is 
if the force is not external everyone in that church all what they know is summed up to zero because it's them that created it the wisdom that they call spirituality is of men everything is of men so it cannot change anything until some the bible says he, that which comes from above is above all so something that is alien to what is attainable here if a meteorite that is not on earth here come it can destroy this earth it only takes something that is not experiencing the problem you're experiencing to deliver you from that problem I say I was Johnny. You see, I don't. I'm not eloquent in this matter, so I can't. But I know the Holy Ghost gives you understanding. I I found physics there. He told me that oh, these these are the lower seals. They are the seals that God has allowed for men to come into. It, see, if you truly do science and you are sincere, you will meet God in science. Because all knowledge is supposed to bring man to the Creator, even science. So the man studying the external force doesn't know he too is also in a perpetual state of rest. He needs an external force too. So the smart question is that if I'm the external force to the car, what is the external force to me? Something of a totally different nature. That's why the spirit that you receive is not a, an earthly spirit. Because everything that is what to offer has to offer. Everything is existing in a perpetual state together. Because they are all under this world. So he summed them. He said, love not the world, neither the things that are... They are all summed up together. Both the wisdom of the princes, the wisdom of men, the spirits of the princes, they all are summed up under damnation. So and I don't know what word to call it. But it's like, it's, it's, I would call it the law of the exchange of energy. To gain higher energy, you must let go of what you call energy. To gain the knowledge of driving a car, you must let go of the knowledge of pushing a car. Do you understand? So when you let go of the knowledge of pushing the car, you will now gain something more excellent that can move that car without you pushing it. It's called the knowledge of driving. No matter how beautiful a car is, in the car realm, they, they are all experiencing the same thing, except the cars that have a human being now enter external force. So now, he took me to another teaching. He said to me, he said, external forces act on and within. If your life must ch change, you must have an external force act on you or within you you understand forgive me I don't know but I know you understand let's say a car is at rest now if another thing traveling with a speed that this one doesn't have acts on it it can move this car so a car that is experiencing rest can be towed by another car experiencing movement if you your if your family doesn't want to move if you are moving you can tow them into destiny It's according to the power at work so that time your external force is now acting on the family you are bending them to your will that's where sacrifice come from when a man by sacrifice bends a team to his will and then there's a force within this is what we receive meanwhile we have both the spirit within and the spirit upon we cannot escape inside and outside when you have that force within you it generates knowledge and as it is generating knowledge from that which is generated within you you can begin to cause things to happen in time so you become like the man or the car that has a man inside driving it so in the world of car other cars may not be moving but you that have something, an entity inside you, you will be living life as though, oh my God. There are some things, if I, I told you that this might, if I want to give someone a gift, there are some things that I've written here that 
the normal man may not be able to understand. So from that day, I began to say, if you are a prophet, let's see your oracles. What do you know that the normal man doesn't know? So we have a lot of people who are going to pastors experiencing the same. They are all within. You need to call upon Agbara from Abu. Something that is outside the ecosystem of men. Something different from whatever man has. Now, if you paid attention to this, my small lecture, you discover I just told you a secret. If you want to change a thing, separate yourself from that thing and acquire what that thing doesn't have. If everybody is a doctor in your family and they are failing, you go and be something else. 